Hello, followers. I'm late to the game for vlogging today, but it's been sort of a relaxing day. Sort of a take this time to relax day. Yeah. The last three days we've been doing a film called Carthage, and it's a short film about Joseph Smith in the Carthage jail. You can go back and take a look at that with this link here. Right now, I am heading to Home Depot. The correct pronunciation is Depot. I need to get myself a new tool bag for the filmings. I'm starting a production tomorrow morning, all the way up at This Is The Place State Park. And man, it's early. Seven o'clock, this is the state park. This is the Pipe State Park. I've heard there's road closures because of construction and you gotta go farther up and go around and boodle a bottle boo. I'm gonna have to leave before 6 a.m. to be up there. That's early. My camera bag that I'm using now is good. It's a good size, it's a compact little thing. It's back here, it's this one. But, um, time goes by and there's holes in it and there's it's falling apart I'd almost get the same one but I just need a new one and I'm gonna see a Home Depot has to offer I'm looking at a lot of different bags here and they're all really great I just don't know if I want red but is that dumb I just don't want red a lot of time I buy clothing and I buy stuff based on needing to be hidden from camera we're always seeing reflections of like What's in that glass? There's like a red thing reflecting. Oh, it's the it's the logo. We gotta move my bag. Or oh, it's somebody wearing a red shirt or a white shirt or something. So I always have black shirts. I always have black bags. This one is a lot like one I've used in the past. Brian actually owns a couple of these. The director I'll be working with tomorrow. And so I'm just tempted to get this one <laughs> right here. It's nice that it can zip up, but I do like. I, I do like this one too. This one you can kind of just put the handle off the side and get stuff easily and it's like really rigid on the sides. Easy to get into. But I guess I do like the fact that you can zip it up in case it's like starting to rain or dust is like, sh you know, a lot of times we have snow elements and stuff flying everywhere in movies and it's nice to just like tighten it up. So that's one thing I got to think about. Well, I decided not to get a bag. Is that weird? Am I being picky? I just feel like I need the, the perfect bag and those weren't perfect enough. Holy crap, holy crap, look at this sunset. It's amazing. Wow, wow. Stinking amazing. That is so crazy. Love it. Hi, Karumba. Does driving bug you guys as much as it does me sometimes? I've got my lens that has some really crazy flashes going on. In it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> a good friend of mine teaches a class on awareness and self-defense. Her name is Brandy Vega. She's ex-military. She's a very cool gal. She's done so much in her life. She's in film production too, and she's a camera operator, and she talks about the color codes. Now, I don't know it perfectly, because I would like to go to one of her classes, but she talks about, it's something that I've known about, but she puts it in a color code, which is really cool. And you have fight, flight, or freeze. Something happens in the moment where you either fight, you fight, or you just freeze like a deer in the headlights. And I've just noticed about driving that people kind of have a fight, flight, or freeze. <laughs> a lot of people have freeze. Like, they'll see a protected arrow go on, green, meaning go ahead and turn your protected green arrow. You don't have to yield for anyone. And it seems like it just takes some people a minute to figure out, can I go? Can I? I don't know. I almost waited an entire light cycle for someone to go in front of me. I didn't honk. I didn't want to be rude and I mean I could have honked and it would have been justified but I just feel like sometimes it gets people their emotions wound up and it can cause a chain reaction that makes people excited and um, angry and maybe ruin their day 
but it takes that being present, you know, being present. She has the color codes that talk about it's being aware of your surroundings, be aware of, being aware of your situation. And are you gonna just, at every corner you're gonna be fighting? No, it's, you wanna be present. You wanna be present and aware of your surroundings. And that takes a little focus on what you're doing. Right now I'm trying to do two things, vlog and drive at the same time, which uh, I'm being hypocritical a little bit. However, being present of what you're doing, driving, and, and not focusing on other things like vlogging, is a good thing. So it's kind of like what I say and not what I do sort of situation. Let's see if I can fix my lens here. It's kind of, yeah. Just try to be present in your situations. Just aware, just be aware. And you don't have to, you don't have to be a prepper or, or be crazy about what you're doing. Just kind of be present. Like right now, I'm gonna turn off my truck. It's not off, but I'm becoming present. I'm, look, I'm, I'm not doing this now, driving. Now I'm really seeing what's happening. Brian's over there, no other cars around. I don't know. It's something I like to be is, is just aware of my surroundings, aware, you know, and be ready for things that could happen and not be being paranoid, but just being ready. <laughs> okay, I'm here now preparing the camera with the focus chart. Uh, I've noticed in productions previous, we were just a little off on our back focus. So what I'm doing is called the back focus, where I measure to a chart. So basically I take measurements, and if those measurements don't look quite crisp, I change a little setting on the camera where I tweak it and turn it and get it just sharp enough, just preparing for tomorrow. And I'm here at Candlelight Media. Okay, so I just tweak this little guy until I see that it's perfectly crisp and I've got it set at a, at a mark where it needs to be and I just turn this so slightly to get it right on. Okay, we're finally getting out of here at 1042. This was a voluntary thing that I, I wanted to do here at Candlelight Media was the focus, getting the, the back focus correctly set so it can make my job mucho more easy-o because being off, you know, it just makes my job a little bit harder and there's it's still off. It's still off just a little bit. We're not sure why, but it's, it's so much closer. We're about two inches from being dead on between our zoom lens and our prime lens lenses we have prime lenses which are focal lengths that are set for you guys that don't know what prime lenses are our zoom lens you can go from a very wide angle to a very tight angle you can zoom in and out with the prime lenses they are set focal lengths so they are you know we have a 24 we have a 50 and an 85 we don't have a lot of lenses but that's what we have available to us for this show um, specifically because they are faster lenses they're more sensitive to light and basically we're we're almost on we're almost dead on with our focal lengths but not quite at least we're closer than we were on the last movie which was not Cinderella's type you can see that show at this link right here Bling. go check it out Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. Thanks for watching. Become a follower by subscribing. Liking and commenting makes me happy too. Be excellent to each other and ta-ta for now.